Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this model of an electromechanical converter from DC to three phase AC output, which basically is made from two motors. One, which is the driving motor, a DC motor, and the other motor, which works as a generator, which I took from an old hard drive. Here I have the two motors. This one is a common toy DC electric motor. As you can see, it has the two terminals. And this other motor is from a hard drive. And this motor will produce the three phase AC current. As you can see, there are four contacts and Let's see now how to identify the contacts. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register upload your Gerber file and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. These motors internally have three coils that are connected in a star configuration. So here we have the common connection or the central point and we have one, two and three coils. So how we identify the common point. It is very easy, you only need your multimeter and check the resistance between all the pairs of contacts. Since the three coils are identical, they have the same resistance. Therefore, between each of the ends, of the three ends, you will have double the resistance than you have from the center to any of the three contacts. Therefore, you check all the pairs on the motor and that terminal that has half the resistance from three points than the other pairs will be your common contact. I have identified the contacts using the previous method. The first contact is the common. So between the common and any of the other contacts, we have a resistance of around two ohms. And between any pair of the other, we have double that resistance. Okay, so here is the model. The two motors are joined using this plastic tube, which is the ink container from a pen. It goes press fitted on the axis of the DC motor and on the hard drive motor, which is our generator. It does not have an axis, so I use it cyanoacrylate, mix it with baking soda. So it works pretty well. And everything is mounted on this wooden base. Using the oscilloscope connected to the generator to one of the three phases, you can see that when we turn the axis, a sinusoidal wave is formed, which is the output from the hard drive motor. Now I'm going to connect DC power to the motor. And there you have the wave. Of course, if we increase the voltage on the DC motor, the frequency increases and also the amplitude, which is the output voltage of the generator.
Okay, so now I am using the two channels from my oscilloscope connected to two of the outputs of the generator and you can see the two sinusoidal waves of the output. They are separated by 120 degrees, which is what corresponds to a three-phase generator. So I only have two channels on the oscilloscope, so I cannot show you the third output, which is also separated by another 120 degrees. So there it is, a little model of an electromechanical converter from DC to three-phase AC output. I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.